This is just going to be a shopping and flying day. That's what this is. We're doing a little bit of flying and we're doing a little bit of shopping. And we're going to have to rely upon our instruments because I can't see shit. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Time. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start off <coughs> by coughing. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then after that, uh, we're going to do some mining uh, here. It's still nighttime, as you can see. And we'll mine for a little bit. We're going to call in screamers, as usual. But we got to get the mining done, man. That's all there is to it. So I'm getting a bit low on gunpowder, so we're going to go after nitrate. We're going to go after some coal. And uh, probably hit some iron too, and then later on, when uh, when the sun comes up and a little later on in the day, uh, we might go cougar hunting or something. I'm I'm just oh we already got a zombie on us. Um, you know we'll kind of have maybe a little bit of a a variety episode today, and I don't know we might we might go uh, do a quest later too. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna do some mining first uh, to start with. And then um, after I get what I need to get for today, I'll bring you guys back and we'll do the next thing. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, uh, I've called in another screamer. I just killed that other one. But it doesn't sound like she's called in a horde yet, so let's just go a little bit longer. Trying to get the rest of this uh, this little section cut down here. And then we should be good. I have three more minutes on Rockbusters. I'd like to keep going on that, but I'm afraid she's going to call in a horde. Eh, maybe not. I've had them do it before. You know, even though they can't see you. But as long as it's just her, I'm not too worried about it. I'm, um... Uh, that ceiling is, I don't know, it's probably eight, nine, ten blocks or so below the surface. Kind of depends upon the terrain up above, too. Okay, let's, uh... She still hasn't called in a horde. Uh, all right, so we need to start making a way for us to get back out of here as we get deeper and up this way, too. So, I don't know. I might carve, like, a little ramp into the side of the, the thing. But we'll probably eventually have to make a ladder or something up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, keep cutting down here. And every once in a while, I'll have to pause and just see if it's still just her. Okay, that's it for the Rock Busters. Uh, we have a total of a little over 6,000 coal, uh, almost three stacks of iron, a little bit of lead uh, a little over a full stack of nitrate and some stone so not a bad little mining session there all right let's hop up here and head back you know we might need to uh actually make a run down to the desert too because i'm i think i'm out of oil shale um so yeah that's something we might need to do as well <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> i did have one other zeke kind of digging up above uh, oh, during the night too so we should probably go check and fill in any holes that maybe they created uh, all right so let's grab everything we currently have uh, with the nitrate so what I'm gonna do yeah we'll keep that there and um, that there and then then we, we'll basically just gonna do a full 6,000 stack and so that's going to require a pretty decent amount of burn time. Um, oh, we can we can do these, can't we? Yeah, let's do these. That's two, going to be 210 uh, minutes. So 211.40, good enough. All right, let's get going on that. 
Okay, and then um, let's see, forge materials. I've got a little iron in there. I think what I would like to do is leave that iron there, and the rest of this we're going to smelt into the forges. So let's do 3,000 there, 3,000 there. Um, 3,000 here, 3,000 here, and then we'll divide this up into fourths. And let's get some wood going on you. And a little more wood there. I'm not trying to put the exact amount of wood. I'm not worried about that. I just want to get it started smelting. See, we have 7,000 clay in that one and 2,000 clay in this one. So we're going to have to start feeding some clay into those guys too. Let's put the lead in here for now. And I guess we have a little more coal left over. So that'll go in the gunpowder box. And then the stone and all that kind of stuff can go in here. I um, haven't really been making much concrete lately because we have quite a bit of it. Uh, but at some point... We'll probably want to resume uh, concrete production too. Whoops. And then you can go in there. So that gives us a little nitrate and coal left over if we need it for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, gasoline. Um, I guess I have 612 oil shale left, so there's a little bit. Uh, you know what, too? Why don't we do this? Well, hmm. If I, <coughs> if I, <coughs> excuse me. If I cook this up. Yeah, let's cook, let's cook that up, and let's do that before we do the gunpowder. So we're going to need to add about 10 more minutes or so to this-ish. Close enough. Okay, good. So we got that going. Uh, let's see, what's next? We are getting close to leveling. Oh, we were going to go out and see... Um, what am I looking for? Building items. Let's grab this dirt. And see if they made any holes. Plus, I think that screamer's still out there that we need to kill, too. Oh, there's two screamers out there. Nice. Alright. Let's get this one, too. Okay, let's hop up and go out here. So I was kind of over in this area, I think. Yeah, so we got a little bit of a hole in there. Let's get that filled in. Okay. And just a tiny hole there. And then we were further out when we were doing the iron. That's a, a previous place that they had dug down. Let me look at the map here. Yeah, we need to go over this way some more. There's that. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any massive holes that we need to worry about, so I think we're probably okay. Uh, let's get this out. And we'll bust that up. All right, let's head back to the base, and I think what we'll do is we're going to go on a bit of a hunting trip. Um... But we might actually shoot down to the desert, too, and get some shale. So we'll kind of hunt along the way, I guess. Come on, stamina. Let's do this, stamina. Oop. There we go. I got some more upgrading I need to do on this fence, too, at some point. But we, we have a lot of exterior uh, work to do on the house anyway. So 
So we'll worry about that stuff when the time comes. All right, this place is going to heat up nice and toasty. Probably call in some more screamers, but uh, we we won't be here, so we don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, let's put this away here. And uh, feathers will go in ammunition mats. This goes in building items, and yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, let's make sure we have a full complement of ammunition for our trip. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, we'll stick the egg in here, and let's go ahead and take one of those. Uh, trader runs. We should really be doing that, too, and looking for potatoes and corn to buy from those guys so we can keep making sham chowder. But you know what? Actually, I don't have any sham itself. Uh, I can also make a uh, hobo stew. Uh, let's see here. But that requires potatoes and corn as well. So, yeah. And, and we can make shepherd's pie, which requires potatoes and corn. <laughs> All right, lamb and peas. We need to start hanging on to those. We have two peas and a bunch of lamb. So I'm going to really try hard not to eat lamb, peas, or sham chowder moving forward. Okay, well, let's grab something to drink here. And because we are going down towards the desert, we probably should bring a full thing of beverage. Or either that, or even better... We, we can make mineral water. So what do we need for that? We need murky. I don't think I have any murky water. All right, let's do this. Let's grab um, like a half a stack of jars. Whoops. We'll grab 60 jars. And some snow. And... Let's make ourselves some murky water, and then we'll make mineral water later on. All right, so that's going to need nine minutes. There we go. Okay, we'll put the snow in here. Uh, oh, you know what? I do have some corn potatoes, don't I? <clears throat> do we have enough to make a hobo stew with what we have? Let's take a look. Hobo stew right here we need 10 rotting flesh and a boil yeah we should be able to actually make two of those let's grab that I know this is it's always so disgusting to think about this but it's the, it's the apocalypse so what can you do right uh, <clears throat> and then we'll Get that back there. Uh, we're going to need to add about two more minutes, so let's just get it up to about there. Close enough. This stuff can go back in here. We're not putting rot meat in the fridge. That's just against my religion. <laughs> uh, okay. So, we'll put the water down here. Oh, we got a turn in. That's right. We do have a turn in because we never made it back to the trader uh, before nightfall. So, yeah, we're going to do that, too. And let's see. Do I have stuff to sell? No, we must have already sold everything, but let's take some coin with us. Oh, you, oh, you know, actually, you know what? I think I left all that in the bike. I think I left all that in the bike. Okay, yeah. Let's go do our turn-in. And do I have everything I need? Uh, we need more gasoline if we're going to go down to the desert. So let's just take what we have there, which isn't a lot, but I got some in the bike, too. You know, should we take the... The gyro. How much space is in this thing? Well, there's a decent amount of space. In fact, what do we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 45 slots in there. Oh wow, there's more room in the gyro than there is in the motorcycle. Yeah, what the hell? Let's take the gyro today. Um, I don't think we don't need to take all of these meds though. Not really planning on fighting stuff today. So let's leave all this stuff behind. I still have, you know, my stack of bandages. Um, and just in case I forget or something stupid, I'm going to leave a half a thing of gasoline in there. Okay, yeah, so let's take this. 
Um, I'm gonna have to pick it up and get it outside here. We'll set it down over here. I was thinking about, you know, maybe making like a little runway or something for this. Be kind of fun. Let's bring it to the top of the hill. And we'll set it down like that. Um, oh, it's fully, fully fueled. Okay, let's go. So yeah, we'll go to Trader Wrecked and get our turn in done and sell him a few things. And you know, since we're in the gyro, we might as well go visit all the traders. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, that is the marker right there. It's it really sucks though when it gets all you know foggy like this in the snow biome because you can't see a damn thing. But once we get into like the other biomes, that should fix itself. Yeah, you know, pretty much like whiteout conditions here. <laughs> Uh, all right, there's the road. All right, not the most graceful landing, but I couldn't see what the hell I was doing, so. I have all that stuff in my inventory, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, you know what? I should grab... I have some sugar butts. I should be grabbing those, too, in case we find a high-ticket item we want to buy. Okay, uh, steel leg armor. What do I currently have on? Um, that's 12, 9, and 13. Yeah, these are just a small, tiny upgrade, so we'll take those. Okay, now let's take a look at your inventory. And we will sell this. And these. And all of this stuff. 605. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something too. Oh, man. Yeah, no, let's yeah, let's sell that. This guy, I put this little um thing in it, the pocket mod. And oh, it, you look, look at the difference huh? it makes. Well, maybe you should try um, <laughs> No, 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 no. Wear that. So this thing sells for 106 by itself. You put the just the single tiny little armor pocket mod, and it jumps up to 534. That's just crazy. Um, but the kind of the rule of thumb that people are saying for Alpha 20 is it's not really worth it to put mods on items to sell unless they are level five or six. But it, sh it makes a huge difference uh, with this guy. Um, and it's just a single pocket mod on top of that. Thing is, is I don't have a whole lot of spare mods yet uh, to be doing that. So that's why most of the time I'm not sale sale. selling stuff with mods it's on it. Like okay, so we are going to lose a slot. Ooh, you know what? Actually, because of the fact that we are going to lose a slot, and I'm not going to sacrifice the pocket mod or the insulated liner mod because snow biome, right? This may not actually be much of an upgrade. What's the durability? This is 400, 360. 13.9. Okay, so if we take this off here and here, let's modify that and put, no, sorry. Modify this, take these things off, put them on here. Okay, now, um, this is 13.7, 12.9. Uh, wasn't this 13.9? Yeah, I mean, we get better explosion resistance. We just lose the armor plating. But I, I, it, it's almost a side, a side grade instead of an upgrade. But we'll go with the steel. We'll go with the steel. Uh, let's repair these. I think I'm going to hang on to the armor mod. Well, actually, if we go modify 
So right now it's 712. Holy shit, man. That almost doubles the price on that. Okay, we're gonna sell it. <laughs> man, oh man. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's look at his inventory. I don't think I've actually looked at it. See what he has. Uh, there's more books and stuff that we're looking for. Okay, this is all he has in his secret stash, which is not really all that impressed, actually. All right, let's look at his normal stash. Uh, we're looking for potatoes and corn, and uh, I, I can buy sham. I, I don't think I'm going to buy canned food from them. I can buy that out of the vending machine. Ranch gold. Yellow desert vulture. We got a green one there. Oh, you know what? I already sold all that stuff. Cha -ching. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right, there's some sham right there. See, for 60, he was selling it for 200 and some something. Just crazy. Uh, is the chicken ration in a recipe now, or is it still just straight up? I don't know. Well, you know what? We're going to buy all this anyways. Let's get the rock busters and the yucca smoothie and a sugar butts. All right, let's look at the chicken. Nope, it still isn't used in a recipe. Okay. I think it is in some of the mods. Did I put some stuff in here? I can't remember. Oh, I did. All right, yeah, let's grab this as well. And we're going to take a trip back to the base. Come on, get up in the air. There we go. All right, let's go back to the base, drop a couple of these things off, and I want to grab some more sugar butts. And I, th I might have an awesome sauce, too, actually. And if I do, we should grab that in case, again, we find a real big ticket item. I suppose we should probably bring all of our coin in that case. Look at our house, man. That's cool looking. <laughs> Clunker landings, man. Clunker landings. I've mentioned this before, but, uh, you know, I did a whole series on Stranded Deep, and the gyrocopter in that game is so easy to fly. I wish uh, this game did the same thing. Uh, all right, so we got a couple hobo stews that we made. Let's put the canned food in here. We can make a couple shams now, too. Well, no, I don't think we can because we need we need some more uh, corn. We have potatoes, actually. So we could stop at a field and get some corn. Definitely could do that. All right, let's put uh, the candies in here. But I want to take a couple of sugar butts. And, yeah, let's take an awesome sauce just in case, like I said, we find a really high-ticket item that we might want to actually buy. Uh, so I'm going to take both all stacks of coins. We have 47,000 coin. One thing we could do is buy a forgetting elixir if we wanted to and do a bit of a respec. I'm not so sure I want to actually do that, though, at this point. Uh, I think these were supposed to be sold. What are these? Uh, let's take the red off of them. Okay, those are tough guy sunglasses. Do we already have some of those? Clothing and armor. Yeah, we do. Okay, so those we can just sell. Let's put the red dye in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um. You know, uh, if we're going to... I am going to go down to the desert. I don't know if I'll get to that in this episode. I think what we'll do is we'll... Let's hit the traders first, but since we are going to go to the desert, we're going to want some desert clothing. So we want, we're going to want some shorts, a tank top. Um, does this help with heat? A little bit. This gives a little more heat resist than what we're currently wearing. So yeah, those, oh, and the duster, of course. Okay, so we'll take that stuff with us. 
Um, so, you know, whether I do the desert with you guys or later on off camera, I, I am going to want that with me. But uh, let's focus on the traders first because, you know, there's a bunch more uh, books that we need. And so I really want to start looking for those as well as, you know, whatever else they might have. So let's hop on in here. I don't know if I can take off. Ugh, there we go. Okay, let's head north. Actually, no, let's go. Let's go northwest first. Um, because we have a trader hue up into the northwest. And then we'll turn and head east. And there's another trader hue. We'll hit those two and then we'll start hitting the traders down south. So this trader that we're going to is um, up here. Let's put a, a quick waypoint so we kind of know where we're going here. See, it's kind of nice flying in the snow biome when it's clear and you can see stuff. <laughs> okay. Yep, 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 yep. Here, let's just hop off. And we'll turn around this way. <clears throat> we got a grizzly over there, so we gotta watch out for him. Alright. We'll hop off right there. Uh we were gonna do a little hunting too, but man, I don't I'm I'm only at level three on Deadeye at this point, so that would be a tough kill. All right, buddy. Keep your distance. What you got, man? Let's sell these to him. Let's look at secret stash, herbal antibiotics recipe. Yeah, what the hell? Let's buy that. Forget the elixir would cost us fifty-four thousand. And oh shit, that's gone up in price. Didn't that used to be 40000 um, you know, base price? Hmm. I mean, if, if and when we buy it, we're definitely going to be taking the awesome sauce and the other thing. All right, what else you got, man? He's got an arrow rest mod schematic. I don't think we can use that with a crossbow, though. Sniper volume 5. Nope. Okay, let's look at normal stash. Let's buy the acid from him. Okay, so he doesn't have any potatoes or corn or anything so like that. Bad after all. Oh, let's check his vending machine. We'll buy that in the health bars and the smoothie. All right, let's go check out the next trader. Uh, before we get airborne, let me mark it so I don't have to do it in the air. Um, That's trader wrecked. So this is the other trader hue here. We'll put a quick waypoint on that. All right, I'll see you guys over there. <clears throat> Tough son of a bitch. Um, while we're at it, let's go ahead and... Ho, 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 jeez. Okay, well, I guess, uh, we don't have to worry about a million shots to kill that dude. Son of a gun. We'll take it. It took, well, it took a million shots to kill the frickin', uh, dire wolf, so the game had mercy on us for the bear, I guess. <laughs> Took his head right off, man. Oh, that's funny. All right, I'll see you guys over at the next trader.
All right, let's see what this trader Hugh has. Let's grab the vending machine stuff first so I don't forget. Smoothie, candy, miso, peas. Good, we got some more peas. Um, Adam Junkies for Fortnite and Hackers. Let's do it. All right. I'm listening. What you got, buddy? Let's look at secret first. Compound bow schematic. Hmm. Might be kind of fun to try the compound bow at some point. Do I need a bellows? Can't remember. Um... I don't think I do, but I'll go back home and look and uh, see. We have till day 49. What I'm day is it? By 48. Okay. Leave. I'll come back and get this if I don't have it. I don't want to buy it if I if I do, of course. Uh, okay. So what else you got, man? He's got a double armor Pokemon. We're going to buy that. Night Stalker Volume 4. We're going to buy that. And that's all he's got for secret. Uh, let's buy all these potatoes. Screw the garden. Hey, actually, let's buy the eggs, too. Screw the garden, man. We're just going to buy our food just like we would in real life, you know? Ooh, tuna fish gravy recipe. Buy that. Mushroom seed. Buy that. Sniper volume four. Buy that. Man, this is like we're really going to town. We don't need the auger schematic. Uh, All right. Let's look at uh, the rest of his normal stash here. Okay. Good deal, man. Good deal. If there's nothing else, you best be on your you way. You best be on your way. Okay, he's got a tri or that's got a triple. This has a single, so let's modify this. And we'll put our double mod on there, and that gives us another slot. We're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, let's read all of this stuff. Night Stalker, never encumbered at night. Beautiful. Sniper, reload 10% faster. And fish gravy toast recipe. Beautiful. How about if we have a yucca smoothie? I think that's what we'll do. Okay, let's go. We probably won't be buying any big ticket items, but, you know, all these smaller things that we're buying, uh, they're very useful. Okay, let's go. Oh, shit. Get away from me, kitty. <sighs> Ew, had to sneeze. Oh, he hits the fence. Ah, we got this. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, we're going to head south-ish. I can get this thing to level out here. And uh, hit Trader Joel next. This is just going to be a shopping and flying day. That's what this is. We're doing a little bit of flying, and we're doing a little bit of shopping. And we're going to have to rely upon our instruments, because I can't see shit. Man, this is crap weather day. All right, I'm trying to see if the trader's going to show up on my... There he is, okay. He just showed up on my compass, so... I don't need to uh, put a marker down. Actually, let's just do it anyway, real quick. Quick waypoint, there we go. Since it's so hard to see. Now, this is kind of a crap day to be flying, isn't it? Oh, well, we get to where we need to go much oh, shit, uh, much quicker. Hope we can't get struck by lightning in this game. That would suck. This is an Icarus. Oh, not too bad of a touchdown. Okay, let's see what he has. Vending machine first. More lamb rations. That's good. And we'll take the rock busters. I don't need the coffee. I got lots of coffee. I got just the thing for what's ailing. Ailing. <laughs> ailing, ailing, ailing you. I think something's ailing you. All right, let's see what we got here. Handgun parts, repair kit, grave digger, bar brawling, grandpa's forgetting elixir, scrap chest. Nope, nothing there. Let's look at his normal stash. That's it. Okay. He didn't really have a whole lot there, did he? 
All right, let's see. Our next trader, I think, is going to be Trader Jin. Uh, we have a Trader Jin here and a Trader Jin here. You know what? I think we'll do. We'll hit this Trader Jin. We'll hit this Trader Joel down here, which, for whatever reason, I don't actually have marked. Um, save waypoint. Trader Joel. Then we'll go do Hugh here in the wasteland, and then we'll shoot up and hit Jen uh, here. And I might uh, make a stop in the desert, too, uh, at our oil shale mine. Okay, so that's the plan, Stan. Oh, well, now the sun comes out. Okay, let's check out Trader, uh, Trader Jin's stash. And buy the usual stuff. Jailbreaker, Sugar Butts, Rock Busters, Cat Food. We're spending all our money today, baby. Well, maybe not all of it, but... Well, look what the cat dragged in. Yeah, look what the cat dragged in. Okay, what you got? Fireman's Almanac. No, I don't need any of that stuff. Rocket Launcher. Nope. Okay, let's check normal stash. Um, grenade, ammo, eggs. So we're going to buy all the eggs. Fort bites, coffee, steel chest armor, chili, nerdy glasses, blood bike. Okay. Well, you just nope. brightened my day. I'm glad I brightened I'm glad your I day. Help you. I'm very glad about that. Okay. Let's, um, mark Joel next. Before we get airborne. Okay, let's go see Trader Joel. What's up, Buttercup? Okay, let's check the vending machine. Smoothies, stock, and health bar. All right, come on, Trader Joel. Give us something useful, buddy. Okay, let's see. Yucca spear? Nah, we don't care about that. We will definitely buy this honey on trees, especially since you can't get them out of stumps hardly anymore at all. Uh, brass from sinks, and yeah, okay, we'll get that. Hunter mod? Yeah, we might buy that too. Let's buy that. And okay, that's all he's got for normal. Let's look at, uh, or I'm sorry, for secret stash. Let's look at normal stash now. Molotov cocktail, baked but No, nah, we don't need baked potatoes. We need raw potatoes. Puffer coat, sofa, something or other. Okay, that's all he's got. You come back sometime. All right, let's read these. And how close are we to completing the wasteland? Uh, I think that's on the next page. Wasteland treasures. So we still need two, three, and six. Okay. Let's head down to Trader Hugh in the Wasteland next. He is... Why don't I have him marked? What is the matter with me? Just because I kind of already know where they are, but... And then let's put a quick marker on there, too, so we know where to go. And I'll see you guys down there. Uh, what the hell? Move, man, move. There's our old house. Hi, old house. And our trees are still planted, too. And they're still causing frame rates. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, just stay there. Trader Hugh. Um, Adam Junkies, Health Bar, Yucca Juice, and Sugar Butts. Okay. Something you want to buy or trade? Pistol Beat, Wasteland Treasures, Green Pistol, 
Double Pokemon. We're gonna buy that. Um, contact grenade. Nah, I'm not a big fan of contact grenades. They have their use, I suppose, but I don't use them very often. These luckies have only four. We have five, so we're good. Uh, okay, next page. Iron crossbow, can of chili. No, let's not buy canned food from him. We can get that stuff uh, from vending machines for way cheaper. Here's some potatoes. Um, nah, let's not buy that either. Compound crossbow, not as good as the one we have. And that's it. I'm still looking for that doggone uh, beanie that's mod. Right. Do the math. Uh, where are we going? This way. No, not that way. This way. Okay. You know, I changed my mind. I think we're going to go all the way up to Trader Gen, and then I can swing back down to the desert. Since we're flying, it's not going to be that big a deal. Let's see if we can get up to her before it gets too late. And then we will have hit every trader that, that we know about, anyway. Oh, let's also refuel you. And I want to put a couple things inside of here, too. Um, all of this can go in there. And let's actually put our double pocket mod on, too. So that can go here. And it opens up yet another slot for us. Look at that. I, I think we have enough slots open now to where, even if we get encumbered um we're still not going to be slowed down enough to make to where it's going to be that big of a deal oh shit just about did an endo there all right i'll see you up at trader gins boink <laughs> Okay, turn around. Oh, I didn't, didn't mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> that works too, I guess. <clears throat> Man, I thought maybe we were going to get a broken leg or something there. All right, let's hop off here. Yeah. You're wondering why I don't buy skull crushers? It's because I don't... Um, you know, we're not using melee uh, during Horde Night. Um, and the use of my sledgehammer, you know, when I'm doing POIs is is too random to We've got the best prices to in the predict wasteland. when the best time to use it is. I mean, I, I suppose I could, but anyway, yeah. So that's the deal. All right, let's see what you got. You got a green AK. You got a bandolier mod. Uh, bar Brawling Volume 6. 20% faster, increased movement speed. No, after getting hit... Brawling attacks are 20% faster, and your movement speed... That's actually really good. Uh, could save your ass. Uh, we could buy the truck, 4x4 truck chassis schematic. I think we will do that, actually. And Urban Combat Volume 1, Craft Military Stealth Boots. Yeah, okay. We might uh, respec and do a stealth build at some point. We'll see. Um, it's always good to have options, right? Okay, let's look at normal stash here. You got an Abellos too. Acid, we'll buy that. Um, did we look at your food? Nah. Okay, that's all you got. Okay. Thanks for the business. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jim. All right, we got some books here, so let's read these. Urban combat and truck chassis do we already know the four by four accessories we do okay so we could actually make a four by now we probably will just for the hell of it because <clears throat> why not right why the heck not all right you guys let's head back down to the desert and um i'm gonna oh shite <laughs> i'm gonna um Get some oil shale mined up. Does miso have recipes? It does not. Okay, let's have one of those too.
All right, so uh, we're probably going to call in screamers again, but that's just kind of the way it works. So we're going to go down into here, and I'm going to patch that up with a few blocks so it buys us a little bit of time to shoot if we need to. And then, yeah, let's turn that on. I'm not sure how that got turned off. It's probably when I got on the thing. And yeah, it's time to mine some oil shale. Oh, you know what? Rockbusters, huh? We already got a customer here. Get out of here. I need to go back up and get my rockbusters. Whoop. Okay, right in the center, as close as possible. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to mine for one rockbuster's worth of time here. Let's get this patch back up. But anyways, guys, I think uh, it is time to wrap up this episode. It was a lot of fun. Um... It's kind of like just a little, like I said earlier, variety episode. Let's do something a little different. And uh, when we come back in the next episode, well, tomorrow's day 49, so I might not bring you back until actual Horde Night um, and just kind of do some off-camera stuff on day 49. We'll see, though. And uh, anyways, thanks for hanging out today. hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.